Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can recover deleted files from your Windows or Mac PC and from any storage devices such as USB sticks, external hard disks or SSDs, SD cards for cameras, micro SD cards for phones or just about any other storage media. Now in deleting files or data from a storage device, there are different levels to it. It could be that the files just got moved to the recycle bin, in which case you can easily go to the recycle bin to restore such files or data. Or maybe the files got deleted permanently from your device or computer, in which case it will require a bit more effort to recover such files. It could be that after deleting such files, you've gone ahead to format your storage device. It could even be that after deleting and formatting your storage device, you have already copied other files or data to it, and possibly you've repeated repeated this cycle once or multiple times on the same storage device. So at what levels are your files and data still recoverable and at what levels are they completely irrecoverable? These are the questions we'll be addressing in this video together with other suggestions and tools that can help you at these different stages of data loss. And with that said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so beginning with the least complex situation, which is files deleted from an external hard disk or SSDs. Now, if you delete files from an external hard disk or SSD, by default, such files are moved to the recycle bin and would remain there unless you empty your recycle bin. It doesn't matter if you have unplugged the hard disk or SSD or if you have restarted your computer several times. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. When you do unplug such hard disk or SSD after deleting your files, the deleted files will disappear from the recycle bin just about when you unplug it or when you refresh the recycle bin. In that case, you might think that your data is lost permanently, but no. Whenever you plug back such hard disk or SSD and refresh your recycle bin, the deleted files will appear again and from there you can easily restore your files back to the disk. Another interesting thing about this is that files can only be recovered from the recycled bins of the PC or the laptop where you had deleted them. So if you have deleted files from your external hard disk across different PCs, then each time you attach it to a particular PC, only the files deleted from your disk on that particular PC will be made visible in the recycle bin. Now this doesn't work for other storage devices like USB sticks, SD cards and micro SD cards. For such devices, as soon as you delete files from them, the files are permanently deleted without being moved to the recycle bin. Now the second case is of course the situation where such files are permanently deleted. And by permanently deleted, I mean when they are no more in the recycle bin, like the case with the deleted files from USB sticks, SD cards, micro SD cards, and of course external hard disks and SSDs as well. For such situations, you will need a third-party data recovery software to be able to get back your data. Now there are hundreds if not thousands of them out there. If you work a lot with computers or even just a typical everyday user, you might have used some of these tools already. Personally, I have used quite a number of them and based on my experience, the Stellar Data Recovery software formerly called Stellar Phonics Data Recovery does an excellent job with data recovery in such situations and even beyond. I got to know about this software through a number of top publications where it was highly ranked and recommended for its competitive recovery rate, excellent business features and user friendliness among other things. So I decided to give it a try and after using it for some time in different data loss situations, I was more than impressed by the performance. Then I decided to reach out to Stellar Data Recovery to ask if they can sponsor a video review on this software. Now, although they didn't directly sponsor this video, they have made provisions to allow me offer you, the viewers, a time-limited 10% discount on any of their products you will find in the video description. The coupon code will also be in the description as long as this offer continues, so if you still see the coupon code there, it means that the 10% discount is still ongoing. Now this tool comes in different versions to serve different need groups. It has the data recovery standard version which is mostly for typical everyday users. This helps you recover all lost or deleted files such as office documents, emails, spreadsheets, presentations, photos, videos, audio files and more. And here you have other information including the supported operating systems. Of course you can go ahead to read more details about the product from the product description. We have the specifications, screenshots, and also the user guides. And the same goes for all the other tools. Now the professional version, as the name implies, will enable you to recover data from more severe or complex data loss situations, such as cases of corrupted drives. You can also read more about it from the product description. The photo recovery version is a bit cheaper than the other versions. It allows you to recover deleted photos, music, and video files. So if you are not interested in recovering 
delivering other file formats like PDF or Word documents, then this could be the option for you. There is also the Mac version which supports data recovery from any storage media based on Mac OS High Sierra and older versions. Then we have the Technician version which is mainly for RAID servers and other storage devices. This is more sophisticated and of course more expensive than the other versions, but then it's mainly for big business users. Now by clicking on the free download on any of these pages, you will be able to download a free version of the specific tool. I'll be explaining the limitations of this version in a bit. The installation files are generally lightweight, typically less than 20 MB, so nothing too demanding on your connection data. After downloading, simply run by double clicking, pretty typical. Choose your preferred language and hit OK. Here hit Next. With the license agreement checked, hit Next. I'll just leave mine on the default location and hit next. Then next again, I'll leave a desktop icon and hit next and then install. As you can see, the installation just takes a few seconds. Now I'll hit finish to launch the application. Now before I proceed, as you can see here, I made some simple demo files to use to test different data loss scenarios. In this USB flash, I have stored few files of different data formats. Here I have PDF, PNG, MP3, MP4, JPEG and DOC files. Now we'll go ahead and delete all these files and then try to recover them. Here I'm using the professional edition just so I can show you some advanced features of this software and how it can be used to recover data in different data loss situations I described earlier. In most cases the standard versions of either the data recovery or photo recovery should be enough to recover your files. But if you feel that you have more complex data loss situation then maybe the professional version could be the way to go. Now for this version, the initial page gives you the option of either recovering your data or checking the health status of your hard disk. That's this monitor drive option here. I'll get back to that later. For now, I will just go with the data recovery option. So for the standard version, it will take you straight to this data recovery page. And from here, you can select the kind of data you want to recover. Now you can easily leave it as everything and scan for all possible files. However, if you are looking for a specific kind of files, then it might be better to select those file types so as to narrow down your search results and reduce unnecessary indexing of unwanted files. Here hit next. And then you have a list of all possible locations you can search. Here simply select the drive or location from where you deleted your files. Of course, you can choose multiple locations. And if the location is not listed, then you can click on this Choose Location folder. And that will enable you to select other locations that are not contained in the initial list. Another thing about narrowing down your search locations or your search parameters is that it saves you time. The bigger the disk space to be scanned, the more time it takes. But of course, if you don't remember the location where you deleted your file from, then maybe searching everything would be the way to go. So here I will select my USB flash stick. And below here you will see the option of selecting deep scan. I will ignore that for the moment and click scan. Now notice that the scan was completed very quickly and here you can see all the 8 files I had previously deleted. From here I can simply uncheck all unwanted files and then proceed to recover the files I'm interested in. Now this is how far the free version can get you as far as data recovery is concerned. There are other features of the free version I'll be demonstrating later in the video. The good thing about it is that you can use the free version to check and see if your files are recoverable before going ahead to purchase the license to enable you actually recover your files and data. So if you would want a full version of any of these tools, then by clicking on the link in the video description, it will bring you to a page like this. Here click on the buy now button. It will then take you to this page with more options depending on what version you are going for. All versions come with a 30 day money back guarantee so you have enough time to actually evaluate this software. So say I want the standard version and I click on the buy button. It then brings me to this page. Here you should enter the coupon code which you will find in the video description if it's still available at the time you are watching this video. That should give you a 10% discount from the original cost. Then select your preferred payment option and proceed with the payment. Afterwards, you should have the license sent to your email and then all you need to do is to copy and paste the license key from your email and then hit activate to complete the activation process. It's really that simple. Another way to do this would be to click this icon here where it says activation. That would also allow you to enter your license key and activate the software.
Then from here, it asks you to select the destination where you want to save the recovered files. Now you can directly save them on the same locations where they were previously deleted. So select some other location. Here we choose desktop. Here you also have the option of saving files as zip files as well as few other recovery options and filters. I'll just go ahead with the defaults and hit start saving. Now it will extract my files one after the other. And afterwards, I have a folder on the desktop called Roots. And in this folder, I have my eight files that I had previously deleted and all open fine with the corresponding applications without errors. So from this basic scenario, I decided to try more complex situations. First was by deleting the first set of files in the disk, copying a second set of files to the disk, and also deleting the second set of files, and then run the recovery to see what I can recover. Now with quick scan, I was able to recover only the second set of data, which was the recent set I stored. But then when I did a deep scan, I was able to recover some data from the initial set of files. Now from here, you begin to get the logic. So unless the specific locations of the deleted files have been overwritten by new files, the files can still be recovered using this software with deep scan. So the files that couldn't be recovered from the initial set of files are those whose locations have been overwritten by the new set of files. Here also you will see the need to check the raw data folder after a recovery. For instance, here my logo file was not in the preview, but I discovered it was in the raw data folder with different file name. And this is where most other data recovery tools tend to have their limits. I got more curious and decided to take things to the next level. So what happens when a disk has been formatted? So the next thing I tried was performing a quick format on a disk after deleting the files and then try to recover them again. For this scenario, with basic scanning, it couldn't recover the files, but with deep scanning, I was able to recover all the files again in the raw data folder. Yet again, I decided to try with my favorite formatting tool, that's disk part. So I opened the disk part tool and then ran the normal clean command on the disk. And then try to recover the data. In this case, it immediately confirms that no data could be found using the quick scan and then it automatically switched to the deep scan option. And after scanning, it says no data found. But then I thought maybe because I didn't mount the disk properly, so I went ahead to mount the disk by using the default create and format disk partition tool in Windows. Here it says unallocated, so I right click on the drive and then select new simple volume. Keep all the options as default and just run to finish. Then I tried scanning again for the deleted files. And surprisingly, after a deep scan, all the files were recovered. Again, always check the raw data folder after recovery. Here, as you can see, files are neatly grouped according to the format. So even though some files are recovered with different file names, it's easy to search for them in the folder with only such file format. Now I had planned another scenario where I would copy some heavy video files to my disk in a bit to fill up the space, then delete the first set of files and copy in a different set of files. This is meant to override the locations where the previous files were stored. Then delete the second set of files also and then try to scan the disk to see what I could recover. But this wouldn't be necessary as the first demo scenario already showed that unless the actual locations where the files were stored before deleting has been overridden by some other files, then the Stellar Data Recovery is still able to recover such deleted files, which makes some common sense, otherwise storage devices would be limitless in their capacity. 
So basically what the advanced disk formatting tools do is to mainly overwrite the entire disk with some kind of dummy data which will alter the file allocation table and prevent any traces of data on the disk. But then before one goes ahead to apply such advanced formatting, then you are likely a thousand percent sure that you will never need such data again. Personally, I only do that when I'm giving away a storage device or a PC, in which case I'm sure I never need it again. I have also used this data recovery tool in situations where a PC is so corrupt that it won't boot up at all, it keeps running into errors, and different Windows repair techniques won't fix it. In such situations, I remove the hard disk from the PC, attach it to another laptop using a SATA adapter cable like this, and then scan the disk to recover my files. Now this is for the professional version. Here on the initial launch screen, it gives you the option to monitor your drive, which is mainly to check the health status of your disk. With this option, it allows you to check the status of your disk, like temperature and performance. Disk scan, which can help identify bad sectors on your disk, so you can migrate your files and data to another disk if you have too many bad sectors. It further provides you the tool for cloning or moving all your files and data from one disk to another. Now, there are lots of other features I can cover in this video that you can try out to see what they can do for you. And that is it for this tutorial. I'll be making a separate video to cover the cases of corrupted files and drives and how to fix them. I will also be making a separate short review of the photo recovery tool to highlight how it actually works in practice. So stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.